welcome to the spoken tutorial on vector operations. At the end of the spoken tutorial, you will be able to define a vector, calculate length of a vector, perform mathematical operations on vectors such as addition, subtraction and multiplication, define a matrix, calculate size of a matrix, Perform mathematical operations on matrices such as addition, subtraction and multiplication. The prerequisites are Scilab should be installed on your system. You should have listened to the spoken tutorial on getting started with Scilab. You should have basic knowledge about vectors and matrices. I am using Windows 7 operating system and Scilab 5.2.2 for demonstration. Click on the Scilab shortcut icon on your desktop to launch Scilab. This will open the Scilab console window. Notice that the cursor is on the command prompt. I suggest that you practice this tutorial in Scilab simultaneously while pausing the video at regular intervals of time. Let us start by defining a vector. This can be done in two ways. By using spaces as P is equal to open square bracket 1 space 2 space 3 close the square bracket and press enter or by using commas as Q is equal to open square bracket 2 comma 3 comma 4 close the square bracket and press enter. We can find the length of a vector P by the command length of P and press enter. We can perform various mathematical operations on vectors such as addition of two vectors, subtraction of two vectors and so on. Transpose of a vector can be found by using apostrophe also known as single quote. P transpose is as shown. We can calculate P transpose times Q. The command P times Q transpose gives a scalar. Please pause the tutorial now and attempt the exercise number one given with the video. Now we will see how to define a matrix. Elements of a row of a matrix can be defined using spaces or commas similar to that shown for a vector. For example, let us define a 2 by 3 matrix P by typing capital P is equal to open square bracket 1 space 2 space 3 semicolon 4 space 5 space 6 close the square bracket and press enter. Note that semicolon is used for defining the next row of the matrix. Recall that Scilab is case sensitive. Here variable P used to define matrix is in uppercase, which is different from small p that was a vector. Would you want to check what small p is at this point? We will now see how to find the size of a matrix using the size command. For this, type open square bracket row, comma, column, close the square bracket is equal to size of capital P, which is matrix, and press enter. You get the following output. Note that the length command will give the total number of elements in the matrix. As you see, the transpose command works for the matrices as well as shown here. P transpose gives the transpose of matrix P. Let us now define a 2 by 3 matrix Q. Capital Q is equal to open square bracket 1 space 5 space 3 semicolon to enter into the next row, 2 space 4 space 8 
close the square bracket and press enter. Let us also recall P once more. We can carry out calculations involving P and Q just as we do in mathematics. For example, let us calculate E is equal to 2 times P plus 3 times Q and press enter. You may want to verify whether these calculations are correct. Please pause the tutorial now and attempt exercise number 2 given with the video. In this tutorial, we have learned to define a vector using spaces or commas, calculate length of a vector using the length function, find the transpose of vector or matrix using apostrophe, define a matrix by using space or comma to separate the columns and semicolon to separate the rows, find size of a matrix using size function. This spoken tutorial has been created by the free and open source software in science and engineering education. More information on the FOSSE project could be obtained from FOSSE.in or Scilab.in. Supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. For more information visit spoken-tutorial.org slash NME ICT hyphen intro. This is Anuradha Amrutkar signing off. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.